guess we should cross my brain. Last time on this car's fucked up, <laughs> uh, it took us forever to get the fucking engine in. You know, the growing pains of doing shit for the first time. You don't know what you don't know, and it cost you about a billion hours. Yeah. Uh, something that should have took like, I don't know, 30 minutes, it took like four fucking hours yesterday. And then I destroyed some extra parts in the process, so I had to go to the fucking junkyard, which we should have filmed, but we didn't, and get some uh, new ignition coils, because I destroyed the fucking ones that I had on the engine. Um, so, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to try and get this as close to buttoned up as we can. I'm hoping to maybe get it close enough to get it started today. Without the exhaust on, I just want to get it hooked up and get it started. The problem is that there's a supercharger that goes on the top. Um, and it's a kind of a pain in the ass to install it. But I've done it once before, so it should go a bit quicker. Uh, but Twice. we're gonna see we're gonna see how fucking far we get today. <laughs> this camera only has only, only has about two and a half hours of fucking t uh, record time. So by the time this thing dies, the handy cam should be ready, so we'll go grab that. This one for some reason um, doesn't give a great video quality even in 4K when I take it off of this and put it into the computer. It still seems kind of a shitty image, but, and, you know, what do you want? Chinese, you know, from the jungle website, as another YouTuber says a lot. Um, but it's what we got, folks. So here we go. So I'm going to do a little voiceover here because the camera didn't pick up my voice hardly at all. I'm under the car right now trying to put the transmission crossing member on, and it's being difficult. I uh, dressed up some of the bolts, and I'm getting them in right now. So from time to time in the video, I might pop in when the sound isn't quite as good. We're still trying to figure it out. Um, the new cameras that we have don't exactly Bluetooth to a microphone, so I'm still trying to figure that part out. But we'll get it figured out. Don't worry. And the audio is good from this clip. Um, the camera picked up a lot of hand noises that was going on from the person handling the camera. So couldn't really use any of the audio from here. Um, and there wasn't much being said. I was struggling under the car with the power steering pump because uh, the bolts for it are just retarded. And the air conditioner as well. Um, putting the cross member on bolting up the air conditioner and putting the power steering pump on took up pretty much most of the time I had today to do work on this car because they were just so difficult to get bolted in because I had to try and hold them up in one spot plus feed the bolts in it's just really awkward and it's hard to film under the car so you know it is what it is the average mechanic okay. Dear Ford engineers, lick my fucking nuts. Try to put this one in. At the top. Oh, to your left, back toward your body. Oh. Sure. I'm gonna have just a commentary video. <laughs> I'm going, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and you're going, I'm just. I'm just doing this, just this, good. this. Just a little something. And the footage that you get, along with the commentary, so people can be like, what the fuck is going on here? Well, see, if you look up, you'll see my phone game run over. Oh, I see it. <laughs> I saw it. I'm aware. <laughs> 
who angled Kelly here. <laughs> The cameraman, folks. The cameraman. I'm sure she's gotten some fucking blistering content. That's why it was hard to cut. That's aluminum. Where's the other skirt? Where's the other bolt? Where's the other bolt? Oh, right here. It was too high. So I saved you. Okay. Yeah, folks, the riveting content that is our channel. I'm sure you folks enjoyed staying at my ass for a while. Four bolts to this power steering pump, but you're gonna get fucking cut off. You threaten the electrical system? Yep. I'm that pissed off right now. Four bolts to this power steering pump, but I've only got two. And I don't even know if this is one. This was in with the air conditioner, and there's only one bolt. Couldn't find the hole. Old timer that makes a joke of. Need hair put around that? I could respond to them, and I did a few times. Nope, wouldn't do any good. Never had one with hair on it. Let's see if I can fish this and draw that up a little bit. It's out. Off too. <laughs> I didn't say I was getting elbow out of rage. <laughs> That's how people take it. <laughs> God damn, he's so pissed off he elbowed that bitch in the face. <laughs> the cameraman can. That's better than looking. Better than staring at the um. Right too high up for you, so I saved you.
this power steering pump, but I've only got two. And I don't even know if this is one. This was in the air conditioner, and there's only one bolt. get elbowed in the face. I'd rather not have those kind of loopers. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, listen, folks. If you could see what she was doing. She pissed off too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see I was getting elbowed out of rage. <laughs> That's how people take it. <laughs> Damn, he's so pissed off he elbowed that bitch in the face. Right in the face. Oh, bro. Well, I have to figure out. I feel comfortable with three. Speak at a time. Three quarters of a turn at a time. It'd be so bad if the oil pressure sending you know, looking right there. So you can get move a turn. Timers would sit. There's the fourth one. Giant cramp. You do realize that we're the old timers now, right? We're not. <laughs> Air conditioner on. Did you think? Air conditioner plugged up. Um, I need to make it, make sure the crank sensor's plugged up. Um, I need to.
to get the clutch cable back into the fork and tighten down the motor mounts. And we're done with this. Uh, we're done with the underneath. fucking together up here at one time but I got overzealous hooked it up before I had the power steering pump on and it was all in the way of the power steering pump because why wouldn't it be Everybody would do it. Everybody well, does do it. Uh -uh. As I said, with the convertible top, people pay somebody, pay somebody, pay somebody. <laughs> as much as I bitch about this, I do. This, 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 I do enjoy this. As much as I complain, I bitch and I piss and moan. I do enjoy working on my own car. I do enjoy knowing that, you know, hey, I did that. I do enjoy that stuff. I won't lie about that. Big hands in a little car. She's getting ultra enjoyment out of this, folks, just so you know. <laughs> she finds this kind of shit hilarious. I got big hands in a little car. Installed and hooked up so far. Um, need to put that back there. I was hoping to have this close to starting maybe tomorrow or today, and that's not going to be the case. It's not going to be the case at all. What are you looking for? Maybe ask you yourself, why is he taking those off? Hmm. Well, because I broke it. In. <laughs> I broke this. Because in their infinite wisdom, they made this a separate piece. It's attached by three little flimsy fucking pieces of wire. So it's now trash. About a hundred and twenty dollars for those. Except I went to pull apart. And you might be asking yourself, well, 
Why don't you just buy some like Excels or something? Because they uh, are not as good. The aftermarket ignition coil stuff has been pretty shitty. And if you ask any Ford mechanics or any AC Delco mechanics or any mechanics, they're going to tell you that they're just not made as well as the factory ones. The factory ones seem to hold up better. And I went to Colcite and paid $40 for the two of these instead of $125, $30 for two brand new ones. Which most likely aren't going to be as good as these either. And you don't need to worry about... this side versus that side or that side versus this side because if you look at them I'll show you here in a second now if you look on there it says six seven one four two three two five eight now this is a actually a, a bit older one than this one. This one says the same thing. Six, seven, one, four, two, three, five, eight. And if you look on the factory, this is the factory one. This is the one from 19, uh, 97. It says the same thing. Mm -hmm. Six seven one four three two five eight. So it doesn't matter which one goes where. They're all the same part. They're all the same part. And I'm replacing this one because again I broke the front nipple off and I damaged the plug. I could have bought the uh kit and I needed a different set of valve covers off of a Marauder or a 99 Cobra I could have bought that and those and bought a wiring harness and converted this to coil on plug but I didn't want to that's another expense I'm already now with these in here these in here and um, which I didn't these were not part of the, the budget I'm gonna zip tie this onto there to make sure it stays but I need to buy new plug-ins for these and because the tabs have broken off that's 90s plastic what do you want um, 90s plastic is shitty it just is Especially against aggro. Yeah, <laughs> when I'm trying to get them off and it's pissing me off. And, and they were already them. broke. They were already broke, so yeah. But, but. So the power steering pumps on. Air conditioning pumps on. Air condition. Air compressor. Air conditioning. Air. Uh, AC compressor is on. All the pulleys are on in the front. Everything's tightened down. The water pump pulley's on. Can we be zip tie garage? No. Yeah, here at the zip tie garage. <laughs> man after Dalton's own heart. Um, where was I?
they stay up top, finish everything up on top, and then go underneath with the clutch up, the X pipe, the exhaust, put the drive shaft in, and we're ready to put the fluids in and take this biatch for a ride. Hopefully, it fires, no issues of leaking, anything leaking. I'm hoping I did my due diligence and put gasket maker on all the front seal and the rear main seal. And it was frustrating. Filming, it was frustrating and filming just adds so much time to moving the camera around. Um, that's sort of why I do like a low budget style of this stuff. I don't move the camera around a whole lot because it's just, it takes up more time. And I'm, these aren't vehicles that I'm just working on to make content. I'm working on making content while I work on them. I need this car to be done and drivable. So I need to get it done as quick as possible. This one, even though I've only had it for a year, now needs a clutch. The clutch is slipping and going out in it, so it now needs a clutch. So that's the next fucking thing I have to work on. So I need to get my the snow we're running, so I have something to drive back and forth to work, basically. Um, but uh, so that's sort of why we don't move the camera around a whole lot. We're trying some new stuff. We might see some different angles and things. <laughs> We're just trying some goofy stuff having fun. So you might notice some different things in this next couple of videos. Other than that, I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, catch us next time, I guess. It's getting cold, so we're going to be, the content's going to be going away for the next few months because we don't make videos in the winter. So, um, mainly because my garage isn't heated and I don't have enough space and we're not that kind of YouTube channel. So, uh, enjoy it while it lasts. Yes. <laughs>